Hey, what's up you guys? It's Dorothy and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to go into chapter 32 of I'm Glad My Mom Died by Jeanette McCurdy. Um, things are starting to really pick up and get a little more interesting with the details of things that they're talking about, especially with how things are going for her with iCarly, so let's keep on reading. This video may contain sensitive topics and foul language. If you do not wish to continue, please click off the video now. You have been warned. Also, I'm sorry if you end up hearing a crying baby in the background. My niece is over today, so that's why. Anyways, chapter 32. Our lips are touching. He's moving his mouth around a bit, but I can't move mine. I'm frozen. His eyes are closed. Mine aren't. Mine are wide open, staring at him. It's so odd, staring at the person while your faces are touching. I don't like it. I can smell his hair gel. Move your head a bit more, Jeanette, the creator yells from off camera. Sometimes even when the camera's rolling, producers or directors shout things off camera so long long as they're not overlapping a line of dialogue the editor can just take out the yelling in the in prose production i try to do as the creator tells me i honestly try but i can't bring myself to do it my body is stiff unflinching my body is rejecting my mind my mind is saying who cares that this is your first kiss that your first kiss is on camera get over it do what you're told my body is saying no i don't want this i don't want my first kiss to be like this i want my first kiss to be a real first kiss not a kiss for a tv show I disdain the part of me that's romantic. I embraced, I'm embraced by it. Mom's been very clear about how boys are a waste of time and will only disappoint me and how I should just focus on my career, which I get, so I try to force it away. But as much as I try to force it away, the romantic part of me is there, and it's been there for a while. I wonder about boys sometimes, what it would be like to love one. I wonder if one will ever love me. I fantasize about watching the Disneyland fireworks together about holding hands and resting my head on his chest, about laughing together. I used to wonder about kissing, how it would work. It's a thing you can't practice ahead of time. It just happens at some point. Do you just go with it? Is it difficult? What do lips taste like? These are all questions that now, in this moment, I have the answer sir too <clears throat> you try to just go with it and if you're nathan my co-star it seems like you can but if you're me you can't even if you're me you just you're just thinking about every single little thing that's happening and your mind is racing and you can't wait for it to be over with it is difficult lips taste like blistex chapstick i start to wonder if all of this would be different if i loved the person maybe there's a secret ingredient the missing piece maybe if i were kissing somebody i loved it would be magical and incredible and not this terrifying rush of anxiety cut the creator yells off camera his mouth full of something i hear his footsteps as he pads over to us carrying a paper plate piled with cheese slices and unwrapped mini candy bars the chew parts the crew parts like the red sea letting the creator pass by them and walk up to us the creator looks me right in the eye but he doesn't say anything for four or five seconds i almost start to laugh thinking he might be messing with me for fun like he does sometimes but then i recognize that there is a deep anger in him this is no time for laughter finally he speaks jeanette more head movement he turns and walks away why aren't we rolling he shouts the cameras roll we start the scene i don't even know the words coming out of my mouth but i trust that they must be the words that were written on the page because nobody's stopping me and i'm saying and saying i'm speaking gibberish it's about it's an out-of-body experience doing the scene leading up to the kiss my heart is pounding my hands are clammy here it comes here it comes here it comes we lean in our lips touch lips feel nasty they're like little gross fleshy piles of flesh it's disgusting to be a person. Shoot, I'm supposed to move my head. I start moving it back and forth, back and forth. I sway it around. It doesn't feel natural, so I'm not sure it doesn't, so I'm sure it doesn't look natural. Nathan at his character, Freddy, finally breaks away. Cut, the creator shouts. I can tell by his tone that he isn't happy. He looks like, looks to the assistant director. Do we have time for another? Not really, sir. We've got to head to scene J if we're going to wrap on time. Fine, he says angrily. That was not ideal, but fine, we'll move on. I'll be be at Crafty. The creator storms off, heading to Crafty for his chips of, or his bagel or his mind strewn soup. I watch him go. I'm sad I didn't please him. Hey, we're done, Nathan says kindly, knowing how nervous I was to do my first on kiss on screen with him. Yeah, I say with a nervous half laugh, we're done. Just like that, my first kiss is over with, and my second kiss, and my third kiss, and my fourth and fifth and se sixth and seventh, technically, since we did seven takes. That is the end of chapter 32. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.